What's up? It's the Only Way Out podcast. Your girl Keisha Renee in the building, and I got a very special guest in the building. So I, who I'm just getting used to right now, and mm-hmm. just getting put on. But got my guy Dusty Stay True in the building. What's up? How are you? <laughs> I feel good. Now you from Connecticut? Yeah, New England. So how, what's it like being an artist coming out of uh, Connecticut? It's definitely. It, I feel like it's. It's like it's weird because it's kind of hard, but it's like. If you do you, you kind of get to where you got to go, but it ain't really been nobody where I'm from. So, like, that's the only thing. It's like, when you're the first to take a little longer, you got to, like, really work at it. You know what I mean? I've been right. rapping for, like, three years. Okay. So, it's like... Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. I ask that only because, like, you know, I, I've been doing, like, a lot of music stuff out here, and mm-hmm. I see a lot of artists have that stigma where it's, like, that crab in a barrel mentality or, like, mm-hmm. they kind of stuck. Mm-hmm. So, it's good to know that, like... It's everywhere, you know what I'm nah, saying? And yeah, like, yeah. you gotta really like put yourself on to like really pursue your dream. Like you say, you've been doing it for three years now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 2020. I started. I started when I was 21. So where did the name Dusty Stay True come from? My grandfather. My grandfather's nickname was Dusty. Oh. And I just mixed the Stay True with it. So okay, I, Dusty I like Stay it. True. Yeah. I knew it had to come from somewhere like that. Yeah, 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 for sure. So now you out here in Albany mm-hmm. for the A Boogie tour. You opening it up? Wanted to open it up mm-hmm. at? Is this your first tour? Nah. No. No, no, no. I've been on tour with, uh, I did a similar tour with Polo G. Okay. I did one with No Cap, and I've done the longest tour with Tusi. Okay, okay. Fellow, you know what I'm saying? Label me and stuff. So, what's your favorite part about being on tour? I really like meeting and getting to know new fans, like really just getting them to tap in with my music. Like, that's my favorite part. That's like right. the best part about tour. Like, being able to, being able to touch the people. Because, like, I get online and, like, you don't know who I am based on my Instagram. My right. Person. I got to do a better job at that. But, like, you like I could really touch the people, like do things like this, go mm-hmm. to the student center, really tap in with the people. Yeah. You know what I mean? What's your wildest tour moment? Like as far as? As what? far as like whatever you think is wild. Something crazy I got, that happened. In New York I got I got pulled in the crowd like crazy because I, I get down and I like stand up on a thing to kinda like You don't be, crowd you don't like Nah, I saw, one time I did. I did that in Chicago. That was crazy. Really? Yeah, it was crazy. It was real. I, I can't cuss over again. No, you can't. Oh, I was, it was fucking with me crazy. And I, like, jumped right in the, the crowd. The energy. It just yeah, be like, and it was, just it was a Tuesday tour, so it was different because I didn't expect, like, girls to be that high energy. Like, dudes that Playboy Cardi show. Yeah. Like, what? People like that. Like, the girls are even crazier. What? So I got pulled in the crowd one time in New York. That was crazy. Like, dr- like I had to get up real fast, like how Diddy did when he fell. Ah. Uh. It was a bad move. <laughs> nah, I don't mess with sure. the crowds. Like if I go to concerts and stuff, I don't do the the floor the floor things unless it's like seats. Nah, they was fans though. Like yeah. they, they was they, they really fucked with me, but they pulled me in and I kind of like caught me on. I know, but it, just, it like, get crazy, yeah. it get crazy nah, out there. Real. Still got the video. I'll show you. <laughs> so what's a day in the life for you? It depends on the day or the week. Like lately, like since like this year, mm-hmm. like I put a lot of music out the first two years of my career. Yeah. This year, I kind of only put out like maybe like four records, and I worked those four records for a couple months at a time. Yeah, cause like I had to do a lot of the outside work. Like I had to go and like meet all these program directors and go to iHeartRadio and do these podcasts and interviews and really, you know, put my name out there as far as the energy industry right. goes and like really being in these events in the city and like tapping with this exec and that exec and they know you know the dude I'm signed to really well, so it's easy to kind of maneuver. Maneuver, mm-hmm. yeah. So. I did a lot of the outside work this year, so a day really, you know, I wake up, eat breakfast, and I'm probably in New York City until late, early morning. So you really be, like, in New York a lot yeah, more heavy, than Connecticut time? Heavy, 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 heavy. Yeah. heavy. I seen um, on one of your posts, DJ Michi. Shout out to him. Yeah, that's Michi, my that's guy. my brother. Yeah. He, he did, he did uh, all my other tours with me. Oh, really? Yeah, okay. he, got, he got a baby now, so yes, I don't yes, want to, yes. you know, shout out Michi. Facts, he brother. did. No, nope, because I saw him on liking your comments. I'm like, look at DJ Michi. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I got to tap back in with him. No, you got to. That's my so guy. as far as, like, being an artist, like, what do you think is, like, the hardest part about staying consistent? Staying consistent is, mm-hmm. it's crazy because staying consistent is harder than you you might think. And not because consistency is a hard thing to do. It's just that staying consistent at one thing for so long, like, is it's hard to do when you don't see results, results. at first. You know what I'm saying? Oh, gosh, yeah. It's like, they tell you, post every day, but you like, if I post every day, niggas ain't going to engage the same way every day. But you got to, because if you don't post every day, Instagram will take you out the algorithm. Mm-hmm. And now you're not getting no likes, no right, comments, no right. either, regardless of your following. And, like, being consistent is just, like, 
something that I've struggled with, and I will say that, and I mean, not like as far as music, I've been pretty consistent, mm -hmm. but I'm talking about like, as far as like staying on my socials, that shit's been really hard. Like consistency is something you have to really work on like yourself, like yeah. uh, work on you first, you know what I'm saying? Right, yes. facts. Speaking about posting every day and your social medias, what is your favorite social media platform? I like TikTok. TikTok? Oh, okay. not, not for me to use it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like, oh, you feel, <laughs> but, but you feel like you got more engagement on there. No, Instagram. Yeah. But but I like TikTok because I like to scroll. I thought you meant like personal. Like, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, TikTok. But my favorite, like for me, is Twitter and Instagram. Okay. I never really got on Twitter like that. Twitter, yeah, it's weird. It's a weird world on Twitter, but if you if you got it on Twitter, you kind of got it. Yeah, that's a fact. I'm, you know I'm, I'm too saying? late like, to the party for that. I'm too late for the party. Me too. But, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so um, what do you think separates you from other artists like coming up trying to do what you're doing? You mm -hmm. know, just in the music in general, actually. For a long time, like, I feel like shit's kind of starting to like move my way, mm -hmm. cause like when I came out and started, like, a lot of the like real street shit was dominating. Like from like my like the baby started it and then like from twenty nineteen to Pooh Shiesty to all these niggas like and shout out to them, they do their thing. You know what I'm saying? I'm a fan. Right. But I feel like that was dominating crazy. Like now like my type of shit was like more like vibey, like Yes. It's kinda yes, like you yes, know what I'm saying? Yes. I don't wanna say it's like R and B, like pop, but it's like I don't know, you got like a sound to you. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Like it's not like you singing, but like you singing. Type like, shit, you know? Yeah, like low key. Yeah, I be like, rapping like, too, like, though. Yeah, like, I know you be rapping mean? too. So it's like, what? What mm -hmm. would you call it? I don't know. Vibey. It's vibey. It's like <laughs> it's like I don't know. That's a crazy. I don't know. Probably right. like R and B, like R and B, definitely R and B hip hop fusion. Right. For sure. Ooh, I like that. Yeah, it's like a fusion between R and B and hip hop. Like I'm not all the way R and B, but I'm not all the way rap either. I'm not just a rapper. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. So I seen you went to the uh, BET Hip Hop Awards this year. Mm -hmm. um, how was that? How was that experience? That was crazy. I swear to God, I wanted to go to <laughs> I wanted to go to BET Awards since I was like ten. Right. Like, when I knew I wanted to rap, like uh -huh. for real. So being there and being with AT and just like seeing how shit go down, it was like. Like wow. that's the environment in general. Yeah, that shit was crazy though. I, I ain't expected to be like that. <laughs> <laughs> now I gotta get out there to do that. Um, I'm thinking like Grammy event. That shit was. Some, yeah. <laughs> no, if you think it Grammy, Grammy's a whole nother level than BT Awards. Nah, for sure. But the BT Awards look like it was sure. lit. So. Nah, it was lit. Especially when Quavo and uh Yeah, set it on. Offset. Yeah, offset. Came on. Set it all. Set it all. Oh, but yes, nah, that that's dope that you got to experience that. Because mm -hmm. I feel like as an artist, you know, trying to navigate through the music industry, you need to be at those places. Nah, you gotta be. You you, you have you to gotta be. be. You gotta be. And you it's be. beneficial for your career and mm -hmm. everything. Yeah, it'd be people like maybe yeah, yeah. even if you if you're an artist, even if you can't get in like to like the front where we was and shit, like mm -hmm. still go get a ticket, like see that shit, touch the touch that. You know what I'm saying? Like what's crazy is before I started even rapping, my mm -hmm. first concert that I ever went to yeah. was a the baby concert. Oh wow! So it was the baby. It was Black Zach and Tusi. Okay. Open I interviewed Black Zach too. For real? Yeah, but they all my label mates now. Yeah. They inspired me to like really do it. Because I was like, they really put on the show. Like, I could do this too. Mm -hmm. And then I got signed to the same label as them niggas. Like, shit came full circle. I love those It full was circle. crazy. It was crazy. Like, for real. Like, right. Shit was... I, yeah, that's like, like, like universe shit. That's crazy. That's what's up. Mm -hmm. So out of, out of your songs that you got out, like, what's your top five songs? Because I put my top five that I, I kind of went back and was, like, listening to your discography and stuff. Tell me yours. All right. So mine would be Never Change. That, by far, is, like, one of my favorite ones. That's fire. Um, Talk Tough. I like that, too. Demons. Love that song. I want to get that. <laughs> no. Yo, I like, it's not in my top five. Yeah, but, I but, like that one, though. But people love that song. I, I, I don't know. I, I feel didn't think like that was you really... Work. I don't know. You just you. It's it's what you said on it. You know what I'm saying. I was talking. Yeah. Like from that's why I put it at the bottom because I wasn't even gonna put that on my project. They that's made crazy. Me put that out. That's but crazy. Yeah. It be those ones. Yeah. Reflections with Tusi. Mm -hmm. That's a good one. Yeah. And then the the newest one, Do the Most. Do like the most. One. I think Do the Most might be in my top five. Yeah. I think Do the Most. And then no specific order. Do the Most. Um, who got it? Break my fall. Okay. Who got it? Break my fall. I got a lot of music. Break my fall. Forever. And never change, cause it changed my life. Yeah, that that yeah. song is so fucking hard. Yeah, never For change. Real. I gotta put never change. I can't not. Yeah, you know yeah, what yeah, mean? yeah, yeah, yeah. Even if I don't like right. it, like, like how I used to, like I, I gotta. And it's crazy, cause like, you know, before like uh, 
you know, premium had hit me up about you or whatever. Like, mm -hmm. I don't think people out here know who Dusty State True is. To not yet. You know no, what I'm saying? Probably not. So it's it's a good thing that you are out here doing this, and mm -hmm. then you are on tour or whatever because mm -hmm. you're about to get some new fans tonight. No, that's a fact. Tonight about to be lit for you, Come and <laughs> I think it might be a sold out event. Oh, I was, fire, for I was real? looking at the tickets, and a lot of them tickets went. And the crazy thing is, a boogie done been out here like. A Boogie's like a little bro. Like, he done been out here like five times. Yeah. He came out here when he was in his bag song. Like, oh, yeah, and he okay, been out okay, here like okay. several times after that. Yeah. Same with Tusi. Tusi yeah. got a lot of fans out here. Yeah, because he from like Syracuse. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I get it. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to be lit tonight. Mm -hmm. Looking um, forward to it. Yeah, so you worked with artists like Tusi, mm -hmm. and then you had an opportunity to work with Polo G and stuff, and mm -hmm. now you're on tour with A Boogie. Like, who do you feel like working with in the future? Who can you manifest? Drake. Drake, okay. I'm going straight for the top. Yeah. <laughs> Kanye, Travis Scott. Okay. Um. Yeah. I want to hear you with a Drake. with a female feature, like a low. I do girl. want a female feature. You know what I'm saying? Too. Like a, a Maya the Don, like uh uh. Like, okay, so somebody like you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 like, I feel like I feel like they would mess with your vibe. Yeah, I like SZA too. I like SZA. I, I, love, I, SZA. I love SZA. I love SZA. So let me ask you this: If you weren't doing music, what would you be doing? Shit, I probably, <laughs> I probably, like, if I, like, a whole nother life or, like, right now? Like, type yeah, of. like, if you wasn't pursuing music, what would your profession be? Like, did you have a, a dream job before? I really probably would just be either getting in trouble with my niggas or I'd probably be a history teacher. That probably got yeah. people on Stop guard. Stop playing. I, yeah, I was Not just a history that shit. teacher. I swear to God, that was my favorite subject in school. Like, I really love history. Oh, if I could go back to do school again, I would definitely apply myself a lot more. And mm -hmm. I would I would probably, um, I don't know the right word to say, but like I would go back and forth probably with my history teacher. Just because yeah. a lot of it is cat. A lot of it is cat. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. it'll be interesting to see what history lessons you will be teaching. The truth. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I like, like it. Dusty stay truth. true. That's a fact. That's a fact. All right. So where do you see yourself um, in the next like five, ten years with your music career? Really, I see it progressing a lot further past the point it's at right now. Mm -hmm. I see this shit going like to the top, one hundred percent. Yeah. Like, and when I say top, I mean like big brands, big deals, big. Yeah, everything. like just the brand, because Dusty Stay True as a brand mm -hmm. is like it's bigger than myself. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's really just I see this shit being on the level of like the Drakes, you know, Juice World, where Pop Smoke took it like before yeah. he passed, like. Yeah. Really going up. Right. You know? What about merch? You got merch, a merch line? I'm about anything? to put out this brand I got. Yeah. It's called um, Debonair by Dusty. Okay. And it's like some fire shit. You know what I'm saying? It's just shit that I like. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because. Now, I was I'm looking real, at your Instagram. You get fly. You yeah, get, I'm a fashion yeah. forward dude. Yeah, okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, I like to like put you shit stepping? on. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> but, um,. Yeah, nah, nah, nah. I'm putting out my own shit. We're going to start small. We're going to start with, like, beanies like this. Mm -hmm. Hoodies, sweats, and, like, maybe slides. I'm thinking about slides, but probably not yet. Right. We're going we gonna, to we gonna put some shit out. T-shirts. Yeah. And then outside of music, you going to think about, like, any acting gigs or anything like that? You ever think about getting on right. TV like that? Right. I, I do. I do often. I do want to... I want to I wanna act in a movie, but... My mom told me the, the the best shit that I heard, the best advice. Yeah. She said, first, you got to act like the best rapper in the world. Right. And okay. then you can go act in a movie. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Mama Love. Nah, for real. You come from a big family, family, small family? I mean, it's me, my mom's, and my brother. And okay. then, like, I got family cousins, you know, aunts and shit, but it was us three. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. I come from 11. That's crazy. They get on my nerves. Eleven is a big family. <laughs> now I love my brothers and sisters though, but brothers and sisters, sisters too. That's yes, it's walkie. It's eleven of us. 11 my dad was out eight. here walling. Yeah, no, no, no. My pops just had a kid. Nigga, crazy. I love my little brother though. For real, I love my little brother. I do. <laughs> you know, just I in feel case. like that's what's happening right now. A lot of older people is having kids now. Yes. Like after they, they kids well grown and off my dad the college. In his forties having infants is crazy. Yeah, you know that is. Saying? That is kind of crazy, but look. <laughs> you feel me? Like, <laughs> why? He had a he had a he had a, he just had a baby. Huh? He had a baby? No, Nels don't want a baby. Oh, I'm about to say because he's looking no. at like he's like damn. He's no, because so we want Nels to get a girl. We out here oh, trying to find yeah, Nels yeah, 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 yeah. somebody. No, 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 no. You straight if it's your first kid. Yeah. You feel me? I just think it's crazy because I could be my brother's father. You feel what I mean? Like, <laughs> right, right, right. Type right. Of shit. So it's like. Um, you yeah. obviously don't got kids. No. no not, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Not right. Not yet. Girlfriend, anybody? I got a girlfriend. Okay. Yeah. That's for sure. Up. Yeah. 
Definitely. Shout out Destiny. Yeah. All right. Shout out oh. to the boot thing. <laughs> now, when you're making music or whatever, you're in the studio, do you prefer to cook it up with the producer right then and there, or are you one of those people that, like, send me the beats, I'll cook it up myself? No, nah, I hate that shit. I, I, I really love to cook up with the producer. I hate, like, just getting the beat packs in, because I'm limited. Like, if a producer come in, he start playing beats, I'm like, yo, all right, take the drums out. I'm going to rap to that loop. Now I'm giving right, you songs, right, you know right, I mean? right, 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 right. And then change the drums around my vocals. Like, right. I'm really, like, hands-on with my shit. Okay. Mad hands-on. Like, I just went to Charlotte. It's crazy because I'm running off straight up, no sleep right now. Like, I went to Charlotte last week, recorded mm -hmm. with the label. Full week, I, I was in a 13-hour studio session, six producers. Yeah. Left the studio session. I drove because I take my team with me everywhere I go. Right. And, you know, right now... I don't want to buy, like, we can't buy a bunch of tickets. We're not there yet. I can't right. buy everybody tickets right, right now. Like, back and forth is crazy. That would just be a waste of breath. So I drive myself. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I pack up the car. We go down south. We left the studio <laughs> at 5 a.m. We drove straight back to Connecticut. Got a haircut. I drove straight to the barbershop. Got my cut. Left. Got food. Woke up 6 a.m. Went to the fucking, I had to go to the store to pick some shit up to wear tonight. Yeah. So I had to go to the store. My boy owns the shit with my, um, my label rep. Mm -hmm. Drove straight here. Wow. Shit, I haven't stopped one time. Yeah. And like, then now you got to turn up. Now I got to turn up. Now and then, and then tonight, I'm going to go to sleep. Right. And then I'm going to wake up. And I'm so y'all staying out here or y'all driving straight back? No, nah, we out. We're going to Syracuse. Okay. Yeah. How many um, tour dates are you on with Age? Are you doing three. the rest of the tour? I'm okay. doing three. Yeah, the rest of the tour. A little okay. three, but it was... You know, just shout out to them for letting me on. Yeah, I know they, I know they team and shit. Like you know, Dave and Concert Craven are pretty well. Like they fuck with me. Okay, yeah. that's what's up. Nah, for sure. Now you open up for a boogie tonight on the Me vs. Me tour. Mm -hmm. Um, with Tusi and Cali. Um, mm -hmm. what can people expect as far as your performance goes? It's actually different than I approached it before because I usually start off with my more melodic shit, but I've been kind of in my bag lately, so I'm gonna go high <laughs> energy and then go melodic. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna go really like come out to like bottom the shit I got with Black Zach keep yeah. it classy and then I'm moving to like the do the most and those vibes okay, you know okay. what I'm saying alright well I'm interested to see the vibes nah definitely you know, know what I'm saying I appreciate sure. you for pulling up yeah I appreciate you Get, having me getting to know you and stuff nah, you know you always got a home studio here if you ever come back out to Albany well it's a studio you can record here yeah what oh you gotta show me around yes yeah, we gotta, yeah, I gotta give you the tour you went to the bathroom sure. at first but yeah. yeah we gotta give you the tour and like you know we, we locked in with a bunch of uh, elite producers too out here okay? so it's put me on yes. I, I know what it's like when it's like you from a place that like you get overlooked a little bit. Y'all are way up here. Yeah, you know what yeah. I'm so I don't know anything about Albany. Right. But I'm looking forward to it. Crazy thing is, Albany is the capital, but, you know, people will be like, oh, I'm the city, the city, the city, New York City, because, I mean, New York City is the, the biggest hub. Like, Yeah, I said that on the way up. I said, yeah. it's the capital? That's crazy. Yeah, it's the capital. Yeah. But we got a lot. Of, we got a lot of players out here too. I believe it. But yeah, 100%. I got you. I got you. I'm gonna tap you in. But yeah, shout out your Instagram, all of that. Let people know. And we gonna we gonna ride out with Dusty, man. Definitely. We locked in. Dusty, stay true. All platforms: TikTok, Twitter, Instagram. Follow me. Period. It's only way out, baby.